Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, while we eagerly await the release of a new jailbreak utility, which will hopefully come relatively soon, I've opted to refresh my iPhone unlock guide. Now, if you're interested in the wallpaper I have here on my iPhone 6S Plus, then down below in the more info, there will be one post on my site, jailbreakandhacks.com, that contains the wallpaper listed there, as well as everything I'm going to outline in today's video, and even a service where you can unlock your iPhone. All right, now let's get into this. While the terms jailbreak and unlock are often used freely, amongst individuals to mean essentially the same thing, the two are fundamentally different. In essence, jailbreaking refers to the process in which a user gains root access and in most cases installs Cydia via a public utility, whereas unlocking empowers iPhones that previously would only function on one carrier to work on virtually any. So let me give you a quick demo of what an unlocked iPhone is supposed to look like. As you can see, we are connected to AT&T's network, so that means we have an AT&T SIM card in this iPhone 6. 6S Plus. You can see, if it doesn't rotate there, that again we are on AT&T and I can confirm that by launching up the phone application and dialing 611 just for cellular support. So let's go ahead and put that on speaker there. All right, there you go. We are connected to AT&T, and now what we're going to do is eject that AT&T SIM card and pop in a T-Mobile SIM. So we can go ahead and do that right now with this SIM ejection tool that, of course, just comes standard with iPhones. So we can tap OK to that no SIM inserted message. That's fine. We just ejected it. And now I'm going to insert the new T-Mobile SIM card, and you can see that it will work on both carriers. So let's go ahead and pop that new SIM in there. And we're just going to wait a second until it actually identifies the SIM card. Now I'm not going to cut this part of the video out just because I want you to see that nothing funny is going on. I'm not swapping this iPhone out with another iPhone. It just takes a second to recognize. As you can see, now it comes up as being a T-Mobile iPhone or at least that it's on T-Mobile's network because remember, it is unlocked so we can use this iPhone on virtually any network. We're going to get into more on that in just a second, but now let's go ahead and dial 611 and you'll see that we are accessing T-Mobile's customer support now. T-Mobile. Para continuar en español, All right, there we go. Now we are on T-Mobile's network. So how awesome is that? The applications for unlocking an iPhone are virtually endless. And there are a wide array of potential reasons as to why you'd seek out an iPhone unlock. Say you're switching carriers, traveling abroad, or you purchase a carrier-locked iPhone that you intend to use on an entirely different cellular carrier. You can, of course, do that once your iPhone is unlocked, like this one is here. And the best part is that this iPhone iPhone unlock method doesn't actually require anything else. It doesn't need to be jailbroken. It doesn't matter what firmware you're on. You don't need any sort of hardware that actually goes between your SIM card and the SIM card tray. It just works with any network. So there are three major types of unlocks that I'm going to detail in today's video, only one of which, the one that is applied to this iPhone here, is suited for today's would-be iOS 9 through 9.3.3 iPhone unlockers. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to detail said appropriate method first before briefly touching on the now outdated legacy unlock methods. So due to the lack of advancements in both software and hardware iPhone unlocks, IMEI based, which stands for International Mobile Station Equipment Identity iPhone Unlocking, has become the cream of the crop when it comes to getting your iPhone functioning across multiple carriers as we just demoed there from AT&T to T-Mobile. What's more, due to the fact that Apple builds both GSM and CDMA components into their latest iPhones, one unlock fits all, and post-unlocked iPhones can be used on virtually any carrier anywhere in the world. Also, just to name two additional benefits of IMEI unlocking, as I mentioned earlier, the iPhone does not need to be jailbroken, and it can be on literally any firmware, including both the latest iOS 9.3.2 and iOS 9.3.3 firmwares. Now, because IMEI works on what's essentially a factory level, it would be the equivalent of having purchased your iPhone unlocked from Apple 
on day one without having to have that hefty cost, of course. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering how such an unlock exists and that it's too good to be true. Now, IMEI unlocks must be purchased for your iPhone's model and original cellular carrier from a reputable company. I cannot stress how important that is. You guys need to purchase an IMEI unlock if you're going to do so from a company that you know to be trustworthy. Now, once it is purchased, said company will pay someone at your iPhone's original carrier to input your iPhone's IMEI into their whitelist database, which will communicate with Apple servers and flag your iPhone as being ready for use on any carrier. At that point, just plug your iPhone into iTunes and you'll be able to pop any SIM card into your phone from any carrier and receive service. Now, keep in mind that sometimes these unlocks, unless you purchase a guarantee, can fail at the carrier level, in which case it is very important, as I just mentioned, to purchase an unlock through a trustworthy company because they will immediately refund you and you can attempt the other basic unlock service again, or you can opt to go with the guarantee the second time around, which of course costs more. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of IMEI unlocking. Because these companies have to actually go to the original carrier, let's say this iPhone was originally intended for use at just T-Mobile, they have to pay someone with the authority at your original carrier to input your iPhone's IMEI into their whitelist database. And depending on the company, they'll either charge you a lot and add a markup, or they'll charge you very little, basically just what they have to pay the individuals at the original carrier. Sometimes it is a risky thing to do, so depending on your carrier and your device and your combination of different things, it could be more or less. All right, so let's get into exactly how you're going to unlock your iPhone so it behaves just like I showed you before in that it will work on any carrier. Now, the first step before you actually do anything is to pick a company that you feel safe with and that you know to be reputable and will fully unlock your iPhone or refund it if they can't for whatever reason. I'm not trying to sell you guys on any one service in particular. You can pick really any. I just wanna give you the full knowledge you need to make the informed decision. And I do have one that I recommend that I know works for a fact. Act. So down below in the more info, you will find this article here, which details absolutely everything I've been saying in today's video at length. And it also goes into the steps of how to unlock, whether you pick the company I recommend or a different one, it doesn't matter. It's really up to you. I just did some research on one that definitely works because I know you'll ask me which one to go with. So step number one, after you found the company, choose the unlock that's right for your iPhone model and carrier, and then select whether you want a guaranteed unlock or just the cheaper option for your convenience. Again, I have included a direct unlock widget from what I've found to be one of the best and most reliable unlock companies currently operating. Simply click the green unlock your iPhone button on the page that is linked to below and then select your iPhone and proceed with the steps listed on their site. They'll provide you with the best pre and post sales service. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to talk to them. I'm just here to give you the information you need to actually proceed with the unlock. So at that point, you'll need to supply the IMEI unlocking company with your iPhone's IMEI. To obtain your iPhone's IMEI, either launch the settings app and then go to general followed by about and you'll see it listed there. Or what you can do instead is launch up the phone application. Just go to the keypad right there at the bottom and then dial star pound zero six pound and instantly it will list your IMEI right there. I've blurred mine out for security reasons, but you can just copy that number, supply the IMEI unlocker with it, and then hit dismiss once everything's gone through. Now, from there, you'll need to wait until you've received confirmation of a successful unlock or that you've been refunded. Now, if the latter occurs, you can simply try again. Provided it succeeded, you're just going to plug your iPhone into iTunes and launch it up. You'll then receive confirmation that your iPhone has been unlocked once the iPhone communicates with Apple's servers, and then you'll be able to do what I demoed at the beginning of this video, and you'll be able to pop in any SIM card into your iPhone from any carrier, and you will have service. So that's pretty easy, right? I absolutely love IMEI unlocking, and it's literally the only unlock method that will work on any iPhone, including the iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6, SE, 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 5, and 4S running any firmware, including iOS 9.3.3 and lower. Seriously, it's the best method currently available. 
Now, let's go into the other two legacy methods. Up first, we have the hardware unlocking method, which essentially works by tricking your iPhone with a clever device that only functions on select iPhone models on certain firmwares with limited baseband's. Unfortunately, while this method used to be preferred due to its simplicity, you just stick the component in the SIM tray between it and your SIM card, the tech is now outdated and no longer works with today's iPhone models, unfortunately. I really liked the Chevy Ultra SIM. I've actually detailed it previously in some past videos, but remember that no longer works with the latest iPhones and the latest firmwares. Now, even more antiquated than hardware unlocking, software based unlocks actually do rely on jailbreaking. However, similar to hardware unlocking, software unlocks only function on select jailbreakable iPhone models on outdated firmwares with old baseband's. Now, the latest supported iPhones for software unlocks are the iPhone 4 and iPhone iPhone 3GS guys, with the former of the two being the iPhone 4 only working on one baseband. As an interesting tidbit though, iPhone unlocking actually preceded jailbreaking. Genius hacker George Hotz, commonly known online by his handle of GeoHot, was the first individual to ever unlock the original iPhone. All right, now that's it. That's absolutely everything you need to know about iPhone unlocking in one video. Now that you're equipped with the proper knowledge of how to unlock your iPhone, I hope you make the informed decision when it comes to which supplier you opt to choose if you proceed with an IMEI unlock. And again, if you need your iPhone unlocked in today's world, that's really the only method. Again, I really do hope this video helped you out. Just check out the link down below in the more info for a complete written version of today's video. And if you want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one or covering various things, including jailbreaking and iOS updates, just click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.